So till this it is clear, let's create another base. Let's create base, base. And here, let's have this integer, simple x, not pointer x. And base, some constructor for this one. Integer x is equal to zero. And then we will initialize x with x. And we are done. I don't think we need to do anything else in this yeah we have to keep it public otherwise it will start shouting why color is not different here am i missing something oh yes we need to give this as class yes that's why color codings are important right so our base class is ready and what we want to achieve is just get rid of all these things i will make it little simpler so base b and we want to initialize not b with t t1 with b okay and we can pass this as 20. so if you will compile this code it is not going to work i'm not going to show you that so let's quickly write how it should be so i will make uh, this test class as friend friend yeah so this is one part of the operator overloading we will do that with another one so operator is equal to this time we will take constant base ref rhs and we are going to do almost the same thing so let me just get lazy here uh oh syntax is messed up yeah and we are not having this actually we have and then rhs we don't need to dereference rhs dot x because that x is not pointer okay so i think we are pretty much done and let's print this t1 after this let me make it little smaller so that we can see full thing what is happening yeah let me compile this okay something got wrong here what is this oh yes we are going to compare two distinct objects which really doesn't make any sense yeah i should have kept that in my mind but i forgot that let's compile it again you we got it 20 now see your t1 was 10 okay so let's 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 just print this t1 first print compile see before your t1 was 10 after printing we created b with 20 you initialize that b with i mean b to t1 and now you are printing and it, you are getting 20 so this is working so as you can see that you don't have to initialize your data types only i mean you don't have to only use this assignment operator overloading when you are initializing two different or i mean two similar object you can go for with a two different data types also okay so here what is happening t1 is calling this particular function and passing b as a parameter you remember before i can show you that ha huh, yes we were initializing t2 with t1 so t2 was calling this function okay so in this case t1 is calling because t1 is at left hand side and yes it is true whichever is at left hand side that is only calling the function and right hand side is always passed as a parameter don't forget that i i uh, literally missed that point before but that is important point and we can see here it is coming and we have achieved what we wanted and let me show you one more thing i told you that that uh, chain assignment and all let's have a look at that also I know it is going to be a little big video, but it's okay as far as you are enjoying and understanding the concept, it should be fine. If you are getting bored, go and watch something else because you are not fit for the programming. If you want to really become a good programmer, you should know your tool very well. So I was 
going to demonstrate this reference so uh, let's have it test t2 and t3 okay now what we want is we want t2 is equal to t3 is equal to t1 but these two inside the bracket so you know how it will work okay let me just give some space and we can print all so t1 dot print and t2 dot t3 dot print and let's see what is the output here see it is 10 10 and 0 why it is 10 10 and 0 because t3 will be initialized into t2 which is 0 only because t3 doesn't have anything and t2 doesn't have anything so both are 0 0 so t3 will be initialized it means t3 will initialize 0 inside this and we are returning it by reference means this t2 is returned by reference so now after assigning this this expression will look something like this okay something like this so now t1 will initialize into t2 so t1 is holding 10 so we will end up copying t1 into t2 so that's why t1 and t2 both are 10 but t3 is 0 so this is perfect behavior let's change this what i mean to say is let's not return it by reference and if we are not returning it by reference i don't think we need to return this as well let's comment this and let's make this one as void and let's compile this okay we got this error that this expression is not assignable because once this expression will execute there is nothing to execute for this one that's why this expression has become not assignable because we are not returning anything so let's return test just simply by a value okay so let's compile this again okay this time another error it is saying that malloc error pointer being freed was not allocated okay i got the problem if you also got the problem let me know i i would i would love to see that okay but anyways i'll explain what is the problem here the problem is let me zoom in a little bit so that we can understand a little better so we'll see why it is giving error so as i said that let's rewrite it here t2 is equal to t3 is equal to uh, t1 okay so this will execute this function and t3 was passed here t3 and we did everything and lastly we are returning this pointers dereference means t2 by value okay because this is by value we are not returning by reference and this is t2 address and dereferencing means you are dereferencing t2 itself by this okay so it means you are simply returning instead of this uh, it uh, i'll just tell you that it is something like this you are returning t2 itself because you are dereferencing that address okay and returning by reference sorry value so if you are returning by value some temporary object is coming here let's assume some temp is equal to t1 okay so something like this is happening now what you did you initialized this t1 into temp that happened let's assume that happened and after that once this whole line i mean this whole line is completed and the control is transferred to this line this temporary object will go away because temporary objects scope is till that line only okay so this temporary object ended up freeing this pointer which was associated with t2 here so actually t2's pointer is already free but when you will hit this and it will again try to free that and maybe it is giving the error for that not maybe i'm 95 uh, percent sure about that and you might be thinking why it is freeing t2 so let's check that this is something like this it is returning t2 by value and one object is being created and simultaneously assigned so that is not the case of operator overloading that is the case of copy constructor and we have not overloaded that copy constructor 
That's why we are having that problem. So I told you there are two cases. First is, let's suppose there is some base B and you are initializing it with B1. So this B is getting created and simultaneously being initialized. So this is a copy constructor case. And second is when this assignment operator will get created, you are doing it like this. You created B, this is B, and you are initializing after creating that with B1. Okay, this is B1. So this is assignment operator calling. But in our case, when you are returning T2 by a value and one temporary object is being created and simultaneously being assigned. So that is the case of copy constructor. That's why copy constructor will kick in and we have not overloaded, I mean not provided copy constructor. So it again ended up doing the shallow copy. And what I mean to say is it copied the address, not the value. So in order to solve this problem, let's go ahead and create copy constructor. I don't know where this video is going, but still <laughs> it's, it's okay. So let's create one copy constructor. Copy constructor doesn't have any return value and it will take as constant test ref RHS. And here we don't have to uh, verify that whether we are initializing with ourself because this will be called when you will create a new object and simultaneously initialize it. So you can simply do one thing. I mean this new integer RHS dot X and this should be pointer. So what is it? You created a memory. Oh, wait a minute. This is not going to be this. That's it. So we have initialized our X with this one. So I think you might be knowing this copy constructor. I don't have to explain this. And let's compile this again and see if it is giving any problems. No, see, it is not giving any error now. And let me just remove this. Yes, I was correct. And we can expect some error. Not some error, that actual, that error what we was getting before. Okay, so I was correct. Actually, this is quite logical. That's why I was correct. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think you got a very good picture of everything here. So let's summarize this video. And uh, I think you would have enjoyed this video. So if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Okay, uh, I'll create a like button for you. Uh, I don't know how that like button look like. <laughs> oh, I wanted to create a thumb. Okay, so this is thumb. Give the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. And if you have any comments or doubts, please ask. I'll be very happy to explain that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.